Uh, remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God. So there's one reason why God gives uh, authority in the church to, to speak unto you the word of God. Whose faith follow. So there's the example that needs to be set. Considering the end of their conversation. Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. Be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines, for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, not with meats which have not profited of them that have been occupied therein. Now you remember we saw back in Ephesians 4 that not being tossed about uh, with, uh, you know, to and fro with every wind of doctrine. And the point I just want to make here is obviously God has given authority and, you know, the preachers and teachers and pastors and evangelists in the church to keep you from false doctrine and to keep you safe from false teachers and false doctrines. But the one thing I want to mention here is, you know, you don't go from, you know, let's say you're getting carried about with every winter doctrine and starting to follow this, maybe one guy, this false teacher and, and getting off the wrong track. The idea here is not that you stop trusting that man and then start trusting another man. Do you know what I mean? So it's not that, you know, we, it's not that the bishops and deacons that are teaching in a church are keeping you safe by saying, hey, don't trust those guys. Now put your trust on me and, and trust what I'm telling you. Because what a bishop and a deacon is meant to be doing when they teach is pointing you back to the word of God. And that's how we're meant to be keeping you safe and saying, hey, don't trust any man. It doesn't matter how good they sound. You need to you know, test what even I preach by the word of God. And that's what's going to keep you safe. Because if you just transfer your trust from following one man to following the next hot preacher and then following the next hot preacher, you're still building your house on sand and you're not safe. So the way we keep you safe is to remind you and say, hey, you're trusting man, you're following man. You need to get in the Bible. You need to get in the word of God. Know what you believe, why you believe it. And then you'll be safe with God. Not putting your trust in a man. So, you know, we see here a couple of reasons, you know, the, there's the order that has to be put in place, you know, the example, the safety from false doctrine and false teachers, um, but don't move from trusting one man to trusting another. Make sure you trust God.